I was just thinking of something. I was remembering when I was in Hawaii last year, <clears throat> and when I had this job of handing out flyers, handing out flyers to people, um, promoting a massage, a massage spot. And what was funny was that it seemed like the, probably the turnover for flyer pass routers was uh, probably pretty high because um, they probably would have people coming and going. I came in one day and ended up working that same day and um, what was so funny about this job is that I would hand out these these flyers but in the process I would like <laughs> I'd like greet everyone in the in the sense of no actually not like every single person not that in a sense but I would say like <laughs> stuff like I was pretty much just trying to inspire people to take care of themselves because I was in a place called Waikiki and it's like super consumerist to the max like financial uh, financial security and um, <laughs> financial grounding like people ground grounding into consumerism grounding into like money being like money like fucking consume bags like let's use a bag for 10 seconds and then throw it away yeah fuck yeah yeah that's that's not full human potential that's like base chakra overactivation of humans like survival needs to the max to the point that people are people are overindulging at, to the point that other people in different places on the earth are underindulging and they're dying because of the consequences of our culture being like excessively greedy but back to what I was up to while I was handing out these flyers. I was telling people to take care of themselves, come get a massage. This can be a step for you to take care of yourself and really show yourself you love yourself. And other than that, I was also saying, <laughs> go vegan. <laughs> I was telling people to go vegan. I was like, eat. I was like, drink water, stay hydrated. That was pretty much what started it. And then I started saying, eat some fruit, eat your vegetables, eat a salad, you'll feel better. Like, just these little one-liners. <laughs> stay hydrated. I was pretty much just looking out for everyone. Hey, I've got your back. I've done my research. <laughs> I know what our bodies... <laughs> I know what our bodies need for our cells to be rebuilt. So... Listen to me, tourists. Um, yeah, it was really funny. I just thought about it while I was in bed and I decided to make a video. I was really... Uh, sleepy but hungry so I started getting melanies from the melanies melons <laughs> oh look at this spoon I'm using it's so small it's like the size of my third eye Om Shaka Balokos Om Batito Skush Kush Om Kalabush Kush 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 Boom Kalaboyakos Snumba Yukush Kulobo I'm keep
third eye pushka ukodira. Um, that sounded like I just reminded myself of the mighty Boosh. <clears throat> if you, who is watching this, haven't seen or heard of the mighty Boosh, it's a really silly show. And it's really, really funny. It's British comedy, and it's just the freaking best, you know? Like, it's pretty much up there with children, because children are pretty much the best. Especially when their parents aren't being overly constrictive of them, then they're pretty much the 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 the, the bears. <laughs> yeah, children are cool. I really vibe with them. I would like to see a village of children where parents are unconditionally loving and supportive of their children and not overly protective and let them be. But I guess the parents would also have to help instill certain values for the children so that they're not like mean to each other or hurt one another and stuff and help them like get psychological emotional balance in certain ways through meditation so that they're not like hurting each other's feelings and uh causing pain to one another in any multi-dimensional way um <clears throat> awesome. Well, good night.